Good morning class 3. Today in this video I am going to do mathematics and chapter 6 of your textbook that is division. Division means equal sharing. Now what does it mean? I am explaining you this using this example. First example is I gave you 20 toffees and you have 5 friends and I told you to divide these toffees among 5 of you. Now, first thing, either you can do it like this. Your five friends, you can give one one toffee each. Then again repeat this. Instead of that, doing that method, the best thing is that divide 20 with 5. Because you have five friends and you have 20 toffees. Okay, now it's 5, 4s are 20. So each one of you will get 4 toffees. Now, in this question, 20 toffees which I gave you are called dividend. Okay, they are dividend because you are dividing them. 5 is divisor and 4 is your quotient that is your answer. Okay, now another example. I gave you 22 toffees and you are 3 friends. Your three friends. So you have to divide these 22 toffees among three of you. Now you know that three sevens are 21. After dividing these 21 toffees, one is remaining there. That is your remainder. Now in this question, 22 is your dividend, 3 is divisor and 7 is your quotient and 1 is your remainder okay that is all about this now start let's start doing some sums using tables only okay now like 28 divided by 7 now read the table of 7 till the answer comes 28 you all know that 7 fours are 28 next question number 2 is 72 divided by 8 equal to 9. 8 9s are 72. Third question is 48 divided by 6 equal to 8. 6 8s are 48. Fourth question is 35 divided by 5. 5 7s are 35. Now children these type of sums you will get in your mental maths paper. Okay. Now for this you have to learn your tables by heart. Tables till 15 you have to learn by heart. Now next question is you have to divide them like this. Okay. With this division sign. Now 8 divided by 3. 3 to the 6 minus them and the answer will be 6 minus 8 minus 6 is 2. So 2 is your remainder. Here 2 is your quotient. Instead of writing full quotient, I have written only Q and R for remainder. Okay. Now next question is 52 divided by 7. I told you that whenever these type of questions will come, you read it till the nearest one. Like 7, 7s seven are 49, 7, 8s are 56. And you know that 56 is bigger than 52. So we will take 7, 7s are 49. Minus them, 49, 50. 51 and 52. This means 3. So 3 is your remainder here. 7 is your quotient. Okay. Now let's move on to question number 3. Is 45 divided by 5. 5 9s are 45. Minus them. 45 minus 45 is 0. So you will put a cross here. Okay. Now question number 4. For 24 divided by 4. 4 6 are 24. Minus them. Answer will come 0. 
Okay, so you will put a cross here. Now children, remember this to do division. And I told you in your Zoom class also that for your multiplication also you have to learn your tables. So please learn your tables and try to do your sums like this. Thank you.